the law, the, the Bible said, the Bible said a letter kill it. You talking about the law? No, we 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 we, we don't forbid the law. We don't no. But no, was no man could live by the law until Jesus Christ came. Okay. All right. What, okay, what's, now, what's your name, sir? My minister Coon, Ella Coon, Prophet Coon. But I want you to read Ooh. Acts one and eight. A perfect name. What's your name, sir? My minister Coon, Ella Coon, Prophet Coon. But I want you to read Ooh. Acts one and eight. A perfect name. My minister Coon, Ella Coon, Prophet Coon. But I want you to read my minister Coon, Ella Coon, Prophet Coon. But I want you to read. Give him the law on the Sabbath day again, Pastor Coon. Hey, we're going to be out here every Sabbath, Pastor Coon. You come back out here and see us. You make sure. Okay. And bring a Bible with you next time. Read it for Pastor Coon as you walk away. The hell is this? I didn't come in to call no conversation, yeah. but I asked the brother, do he be, in, be, be being saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost? He couldn't give me the answer. I told no, him no, the no, Bible no. said, the Bible said in Acts 1 and 8, get you read your Bible, it said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. Okay. Now the Holy Ghost gives you power. No, no, uh, uh, Go ahead. What's the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is God's spirit. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is God's spirit. Yeah. You sure? In, yeah. In give me Acts. Give, give me Acts uh, seven. Okay. Break it up. Let's 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 see let's see what the Holy Ghost is. Okay. It's a question. Acts seven verse fifty one. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. So Stephen is talking, and he's talking to these Pharisees. And he said he's calling them stiff necked and rebellious. And he said, Y'all always resist the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Okay. So, you, you, the question you asked me, what no is way. the Holy Ghost? Go ahead. Um, listen, Go we ahead. got to wait till it comes out. Because don't worry about what I say the Holy Ghost is or what you say the Holy Ghost is. We're about to find out what this Bible says the Holy That's Ghost right. is. So let's keep reading. As your, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which other prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, right? who have recited, received the law by the dispensation of angels. They have received the what? The law, I understand all the that. The law by the dispensation that. Of angels. I got all that. So what did they resist? The law. The law. What did they say? The, the Holy Ghost is the law. That's, right. That's right. the Holy Ghost. All of that preaching that they doing in them pulpits ain't bringing out no proof. All of that stuff okay. don't mean nothing. Okay. That's right. Right. If it ain't coming out this book, it ain't true. Read that again. Right. Right. Have received what? Have, who have received the law by disposition of angels and have not kept it. They resisted the law. It said the Holy Ghost is the law. This ain't Christianity. Christianity right. is a philosophy that was crea created a long time ago. That's right. right. We are Christians, but Christianity is not in this Bible. That's right. Christian means to a follower of Christ, of Christ's example. It don't mean that Hey, it's almost December 25th. That's that Christ's word. birthday, so we're going to go and put a tree in the, in the that house. Word, that word came, the Christian came from the critic. The critic came from the saints were being prosecuted. That's right. That's where that name came from. So why, where Christianity that, come from? Because that's a different word. Right, that's where it came from. No, 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 no. 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 Christian, get that in Acts. Oh, well, well, but I, but I want to read it. We're going to read it for you. I know, I know where you're coming from, brother. No, no, no. Listen, brother. It, it's when it's not where I'm coming from. It's the word of God. It's what the, God, what the word of God is saying. And we from. have to prove all I things. Ask one, That's right. Okay, I ask you one question. That's what I want to well, ask. Well, let me get this for you because because it, it's going along with what you're saying anyway. So okay. let's read it. Acts 11, verse 26. Bring it up. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians That's it. first in Antioch. Right. They were called Christians right. first in Antioch. Right. 
So now, what's the what's the similarity between Christians and Christianity, which is a philosophy? Give me Colossians two and eight. Get, I will no. get Acts one and eight, and I'm gonna leave you alone. You ain't got to leave me alone, brother. We having a conversation. Bring it up, brother. Right. It's obvious you feel very comfortable that you know a lot of the scripture, and that's fine. We're not yeah, here. No we're not here to compete with you. When they, when they don't come alive in a person's life. The, the, the if, they only, if they don't come alive in my life, in your the life, only thing that's gonna come alive in your life is if you're doing this law. Right. You ain't. You don't have no knowledge of what's gonna happen because you don't do the law. You have to do the law. That's how you get your understanding. So right. 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 What you mean by doing the law? The law that Moses brought on that whenever he came off that mountain. Proverbs 72. We don't live by the law anymore. Yeah, Who we, said that? There's no man can live the law. What? That's, oh. reading, that's reading Jesus Christ came so, to fulfill the law. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you a law. He couldn't fulfill the law. I'm going to give you a law right quick. Right, right. You can, a law that I'm going to give you is the law about the beard. Because I got a question for you at the end of it. Give me the, give me the beard. Break it up. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Bring, Bring it up. up. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Okay, now. That's a law. You tell me this here. How difficult is it to not go over there to Walmart and buy some of that edge gel? Lather that stuff up on your face. Buy a Gillette razor and slice that stuff off your face. Bring it How out. hard oh. is that? Because that's a law. What's, what's grievous about that? Bring it up. Y'all say the law can't be kept. All I'm saying, if you got if you got your brother over here and he married, how hard is it for you not to try and talk to his wife? Bring it up. If the law say you ain't supposed to eat something that's that's uh, wicked like pork, Bring it up. because I don't know if you're from the south, but most people from the south know that cows got multiple stomachs. Pigs got the same stomach you got, so. If it's only got one chamber, it can't digest that stuff That's like right. you can. So what, you, it, so what you're saying, the Bible said, what you're saying, the Bible said. No, the no, Bible said, let's, get, minute, let's get it. The Bible said that, see, see, brother, let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all, God, tell all y'all. If you ain't saved and sanctified food with the Holy Ghost, you ain't got no business out here. I, I told you to get Acts 1 and 8. You didn't get that first. You didn't find sure. that. The Bible get says every preacher. Get Acts 1 and 8. Get Acts 1 and 8. Bring it up. I was talking to one and talking about the law. The Bible said the Bible said that let us kill it. You talking about the law. No, we we, we, we we don't forbid the law. We don't, no. But no, was no man could live by the law until Jesus Christ came. Okay. All right. What, okay, what's, now, what's your name, sir? My minister Coon, Ella Coon, Prophet Coon. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. But I want you to read Acts 1 and 8. A perfect name. Acts, yeah, Coon. That's right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Minister Coon. Yeah. Uh, we're going to read Acts 1 and 8. Okay. okay. And, I, so. and I want you to explain that to me. Okay. All right. Bring well, it up. I, want, I want you to explain Bring it, it first. Okay. 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 I'll do that. Okay. okay. All right. Read what you got. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Uh, wait a but ye shall receive power. Hold on, hold on. After hey, that, wait, wait the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Uh huh. But Acts 1 and 8 says, but you shall receive power after, not before, the Holy Ghost okay. come upon you. Okay. And what it says you shall okay. be. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Read on. Read on. Now let hold me on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mr. Uh, Pastor Coon, hold on just a second. All right. So it said that ye shall receive power after. The Holy, Holy Ghost comes upon you, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, so right. what is the power? What's the power? Romans 1 16. Bring it out! Bring it out! You do all this talking, Mr. Uh, Pastor Coon. Still. Yeah, hold on, hold on, Go Pastor Coon. We're just having a dialogue. You want us to re read, uh, uh, you want us to read 1 and 8. So we read 1 and 8. Yeah. And I just explained, and you, we read it, and I asked you a question now. Yeah. What is the power? Come on, Pastor Coon. The power is the, the power is the feeling of the Holy Ghost uh, embedded in man. Now, what scripture is that? Uh, what scripture is that? Acts 1 and 8. Well, all right, now watch okay. this. Watch, watch, watch this, watch this, because I disagree with you. 
The Bible disagrees with you, and we're about to read it. We're about to read it. Wait a minute. You, you don't want to hear the word of God? Go, go to uh, you, well, Hold on. You don't want to hear the word of God? I'm going. I'm right. listening. So let me show you. I'm listening. Let me show you what the power is. All right, Pastor Coon? Here you go. Here's what you got. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Bring it up. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. Stop right there. No, that was uh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Pastor Coon. Pastor Coon. Calm, calm down. Calm down. I'm all right. Right? Good, it good. said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. So the Who subject that? Pastor Coon, are you going to let me finish? The, I'm not, I, you told me okay. to read. We read it. Go right? Go ahead. Y'all so. It said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. The subject matter is the gospel here, right? God's word, his law, right? Watch this. Read. Well, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. Yeah, What's the power? For it is right the, the power of For I am not ashamed of, of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. That's right. right. Okay, that's uh, it. Absolutely. So you just said you just said that the power was a feeling. The power uh, of God embedded in man. No, no, no. The, the power you of God, the power of God, Pastor Coon, is God's laws. That's this is right. the, the, the reason why it's power, sir, is because this is the only book that's gonna take a nigga and make him into a God. That's right. It's the only book that's gonna take someone dead and make them alive. That's, that's right. right. That's why it's the power of God. That it's going to, because I, I, it's the oh, keeping God's laws is what's going to change you. That's right. That's, that's what I, right. I understand all that, bro. No, you didn't understand that because you just said that it was a it was get, a feeling. Get, 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 it's get a feeling. I'm going to go. Oh, hold on. We ain't finished there. Get, 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 get your written 5 and 17. Wait, 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 hold on, Pastor Pascal. Pastor Y'all don't want to hear Get written 5 and 17. I'm going to hear the scripture, but you ain't bringing no scripture. You ain't have no book in your hand or nothing. I don't need the book. The book is in me. What, what day do you go to church? I, I go to church do. all the time. What, 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 what day do you go to church? I go every, every time I can get a chance to get it. Every, every Sunday, isn't that right? No, I, I just don't go on Sunday. You, 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 you. No, no, you no. go on Sunday. No, what, what's the Sabbath day? Huh? Y'all the, 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 said the Sabbath day is Saturday. Okay, let's see what God says. I'm not that smart. I understand that too. You know what I, I, I know where you come coming nah, from. Pastor you going? You I know about go. the seventh day. Pastor Coon, stop cooning, Pastor Coon. The seventh day. Stop cooning, Pastor Coon. The seventh day. Stop cooning, Pastor Coon. The seventh day. Every day is the seventh day. Oh uh, no! See, that's that Christianity got, right there. That's that Christianity. We gonna give you the we gonna give you what the true Sabbath day. Why you walk away, Pastor Coon? Nah, you stop cooning. Don't come down here with that. We we gonna give you God's word. That's right. Come on, give me the Sabbath day, brother. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 3. Six up. days shall work be done. So Pastor Cone, it says six days shall work be done. Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. The seventh day is the Sabbath. Of, come on back up here, Pastor Cone. Come on back up. We ain't finished with you. Come on. Come on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. We're going to read it again see, for Pastor see, see, Coon. See, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, y'all hey. won't let me say it. See, see, see y'all won't let me say yeah, it. I love that name. Hold on, hold on, Pastor see, Coon. Just, hold it now. If y'all trying to keep the Sabbath day, then why if your son got sick or your, the Bible said, Jesus said, if one of your cries fall in the hall, you going to leave him in the home because of this Sabbath? Man, y'all messed Pastor up. Pastor Coon, huh? stop cooning. Come here. No, I'm, I, I, I got to go. Coon. I got to go, man. Come on now, because you came over here and you did a whole bunch of yibbity yapping. Give him the law on the Sabbath day again, Pastor Coon. Up, hey, we're going to be out here every Sabbath, Pastor Coon. You come back out and see us. You make sure. Okay. And bring a Bible with you next time. Read it for Pastor Coon as you walk away. No, no, you ain't keeping no law, Pastor Coon. You, okay. You got the Coon James version. <laughs> Come on. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 3. Bring it Six up. days shall be work done. Uh -huh. But the seventh day. The seventh day, Pastor Coon. Is the Sabbath of rest. It's the Sabbath of rest, Pastor Coon. Give me, give me Exodus 31, 13 for Pastor Coon. Up. Come on, back up here. Come on. Oh, uh, come on, Pastor Coon. You breaking every law that, that, that's possible out here right now on the Sabbath day. Read that for Pastor Coon as he walk away. 31, 13. Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. Uh -huh. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. Well, you should be keeping the Sabbath, Pastor Coon. Come on. For it is a sign between me and you. Uh-huh. Throughout your generation, that ye may know that I am the Lord, 
that have that doeth sanctify you. Come on. Ye shall keep the seventh, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Uh -huh. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. See that, Pastor Cole? We see you riding by. You hear it? Hey, you better keep the Sabbath day. Don't put this down. Okay. Why? I'm just gonna keep the Sabbath day. Why you put on that thing? Oh, yeah, the question today is Sabbath day. What's that? The Bible says don't do no work yet on the Sabbath day. Why y'all working on the Sabbath day? No, sir, I'll work. Huh? No, sir, I'll work. Bring me out. Okay. See, Pastor, you ain't come back here. You can learn this Bible all over again. Hey, 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 hey. If you're the son, if your daughter got hurt on the Sabbath day, you can do it. Do you want to ask to, to, to Monday? Watch this. Say right there, we're going to read something for you. I know that scripture. Nah, I see you over there. That's why you're going to jump over there. Here you go right here. Here you go for you, Pastor. All y'all that ran, Jake, boy, y'all messed up. Y'all need to do that, boy. I don't think y'all know what I'm talking about. You're reading the way you want to read it. You're studying what you want to study. If you can't live without living a sinful life, you ain't got nothing. No. If you can't live without living a sinful life, you ain't got nothing. No, that's past two. Yeah. Park the truck, come on back over here and talk with us, sir. Yeah, you come over here, you do all that you have to do. You better keep your Sabbath day. Keep your Sabbath day, Pastor Coon. Keep your Sabbath day. Shalom. Pastor, Pastor Coon, he, he, he got some problems. Come on back up here, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> all praises, all praises. But this is what we are finding out now. We oh, are oh, telling oh. us. Oh, you don't have to do the law. And as soon as they can't keep it together, they start running. But that law is still in effect. That's right. You, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans here in Macon, you are the children of Israel. That's right. That's right. The Bible says that the children of Israel were given the laws of God. That means that you have to do this law. Contrary to popular belief, Christ did not do away with the law. Bring it up! Christ did away with the sacrificial law. That's right. All of those other laws, you have to do them. Time is running out. The time is short. Bring it up! If you're watching TV, you know. If you're watching TV, you know, you seeing what's happening on TV. Hey, sister, sister, you have any questions, sister? Sister, sister, come, come forward, sister. Come forward, sister. We're not gonna bite you. You our sister. We love you. We love you. That's we want right. you to understand what's happening because time is short. <laughs> Come on around over here so we can have a little conversation. Thank you, sister. Because it's important that your son know. If you can come around this way so I ain't got to turn around, just come around over here where the street at. It's, 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 it's a blessing that you're able to, to come and, and, and dialogue with us because your son, it's a lot of stuff that your son missed out on. And if you don't explain it to him, your son is not going to make it, okay? But let's read that. You found it yet? 22. 22. 22 and 5. Okay. You got it? Okay, read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, I got a question for you. What is a woman's garment? A woman's garment is a skirt. And a panties. skirt, dress, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so a woman's garment is a skirt, a dress, right. that type of thing, right? So we're going to start over again from the top. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What's a man's garment? Man's garment is underwear, pants. Oh, <laughs> pants. pants. Let's keep reading. Pants. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Why? 
for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. The Most High sees that as filthy. That's right. He can't stand that. Right. We learned that here. After we went into slavery, one of our oppressors, this lady by the name of Amelia Bloom, it was with the women's feminists and women's suffrage movement when those white women wanted to be equal with their men. And so in order to show equality with their men, she created this thing called bloomers, right. pantaloons. And they later evolved to what you're wearing right now. That's That's right. Right. But there's a problem. Amelia Bloomer is not one of the children of Israel. Right. 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 So she can do whatever she wants in their reign. It's only certain people who have to do this law. That's right. So what would you classify yourself as? If you was to fill out a job application, what would you put on the application for race? Other. Other. Why would you put other? Well, I put black. Okay. Right. I want you to look over here at this sign right here. It's not on it. Yeah, it's on it. Because I want you to know exactly who you descend from. What does that say? Judah. You are of the tribe of Judah. That's right. Guess who else was of the tribe of Judah? Marley. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bob Marley actually was a white man, if you want to know. But a very famous person from the tribe of Judah was Christ. That's right, right, right. Christ, Christ, Christ. Young man, can I ask him a question? Sure. Who's that? That's Jesus. Hmm. Interesting. Do you know that that picture right there is not described in the Bible at all? That picture is not described in the Bible. But what we're going to do, because we love you, we're going to show you what Jesus looks like. That's we're going right. to play a game of three strikes. You can go ahead and put it back up there, officer. For me. We're going to play three strikes. Let me put that one over here. Ah. So in school, do you guys compare and contrast? You ever do that? Okay, we're going to do some comparing and contrasting. Bring okay? it out. Let me get uh, Revelation 1 and 1. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now that word revelation, this is kind of a, a, a big word, but it simply means to reveal. Okay, so we're going to find out. It's about to describe Jesus Christ. And we're going to compare and contrast this depiction of Jesus versus this depiction of Jesus. Okay? All right. So let's do it. Give me 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White and woolly. So now, you see that man's face right there? All that gray on his chin right there? Oh, he's got his back to us. But you see it. He had a white face. His beard was white, kind of like mine is right here. Okay? Now, we're going to look at these pictures here. Which one of these pictures has white, woolly hair? Because woolly is just that coarse type stuff, like I got. That one there. Okay, that's strike one. All right, for this one. That's strike one for him. The Bible said white wool. Okay, let's keep reading. As white as snow, mm -hmm. and, his, and his eyes or as a flame of fire. You ever hear Moses? Moses, the Ten Commandments and all that other stuff? Well, Moses, way back in the day, he did a prophecy. He said that Christ, the, our Savior, his eyes would be red with wine. Okay? The prophecy said that Christ would have red eyes. Right. Okay? If you look over here, and if you look over here, the whites of these eyes here, what color? What color are these over here? Okay, so that's strike two for this one, right? So this one has white woolly hair, and this one has red eyes. Bring it up. 
This one has stringy hair, and the whites of his eyes are white. Okay, that's strike two. Okay, let's keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass. Do you know what brass is? You don't know what brass is? Hmm. You know, hmm. It, it, it looks like a penny. What color is that? A penny is kind of like brown or something. That's but right. there's a specific kind of brown. Let's keep reading. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, the word we're paying attention here is that word burn. When you burn something, what color does it get? It gets black. That's right. Wow. Now, one of these pictures is black, and the other one is not. So, which one of these is black? So, this is what the Bible says Christ looks like. We're not saying this is Christ, okay? We don't worship this picture. All we're saying is the description that's in the Bible about what Christ looks like resembles this picture. That's right. This picture right here is nowhere in the Bible. That's right. It's actually white supremacy. That's okay. right. This picture was designed for you to hate yourself. That's right. right. This picture was designed for you to hold your oppressors in high regard. That's right. That's why it was designed. Okay, that's why our people, when you look at our people, we don't have a whole lot of esteem for stuff because we're in the we're at the bottom. Okay? But if we knew that the most powerful man that ever existed on the face of the earth looks like us, you think we might have some self-esteem about ourselves? Yes, Bring it out. I think we would. Guess what else? This man is coming back for us. That's right. And That's right. us only. Bring it out. That's right. I, I can't help where you heard all of this stuff. They use these, these different parts of the Bible and they say, hey, well, God loves everybody. That's not true. That's right. And God says that. But he does love the children of Israel. Right. And he says he's coming back for the children of Israel. But we're going to see where he calls us a special people. Let's get that uh, Deuteronomy 7. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Surely that said that. We're equal with everybody. Above all people. Well, you know, those, uh, those white folks are really, really strong. They're smart. They're in charge of everything. So surely we're beneath them. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's God right. says out. you're better than yeah. everybody. That's, That's right. right. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.